What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to more Dead by Daylight. Now in this video, we are going to be talking about the patch notes that's currently in the PTB that does consist of the brand new Nemesis buff update. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now this is currently in the PTB guys, if you want to experience all these changes, go ahead and go to the PTB and try it out yourself, experience all these new things yourself, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But, when it comes to the Nemesis update, Behavior had this to say, the first change here was... Movement speed while charging tentacle strike tier 3 increased to 4.0. It was 3.8, so you do get a faster movement speed. You get a little boost. And number two, the second change was Shattered Stars badge effect duration increased to 60 seconds. It was before 30 seconds. So they gave us a lot more time uh, to basically play with when it comes to this new uh, the Nemesis add on. And number three, the umbrella badge effect duration increases to 30 seconds it was 15 seconds now this one i do like this one i do like i feel like 15 seconds is definitely not enough to like literally do anything uh this was this add-on basically it gave you the exposed status effect if you did uh, inject yourself with the vaccine so instead of 15 seconds you now get 30 seconds to actually chase down the survivor and basically just one shot them and just put them into the dying state which is really good okay it is really good uh, oh, I also forgot this part right here. It says, but was uh, er erroneously displayed as 12 seconds. Okay, if I even said that right. And number four, the fourth change right here. It says, ritual of the nemesis reduced to reaching maximum, maximum mutation rate one time. It was four. So definitely, definitely some interesting changes. I do like the movement speed buff, the add-on changes. That's always really good. Gives us a lot more to actually... I play with and actually gives us more time to actually chase down the survivor and get the full experience of the add-on and they also put a note right here a developer note that says the nemesis came out in a good state but has been underperforming slightly in higher skill brackets these players tend to hit mutation rate three more often so a buff here should give them a slight boost at that level of play Additionally, we have buffed two add-ons that were underperforming to make them more viable, which is always good, and made the associated ritual less of a pain to complete. This is great, guys. I love this. love the direction they're going for. Just because whenever the Nemesis did uh, get released, I'm not really too sure if I agree that the Nemesis was in a good state whenever he did release. I thought he was alright. Was he suffering? Yes, definitely was suffering. Even though he comes with so many abilities, so many things in one package, he can do so many things, I still feel like he was really suffering. But this, hopefully this will um, help us out a lot more. Hopefully this will make uh, Nemesis not so far down in like everyone's uh, killer tier list. Hopefully he's around the middle or a little more towards uh, towards the top because I do like Nemesis. I think it's really fun to to play and really fun to mess around with when it comes when it comes to the add-ons, the the perks and all that stuff. So I really like seeing this. And there's also a bunch of uh, bug fixes in the patch notes as well as a bunch of known issues that they are aware of. So if you guys want to check out, uh, check that out for yourself, it'll be down description below. I'll go ahead and leave a link for everyone to check out. But guys, that is the Nemesis buff. Let me know if you think this is enough. If you think these uh, changes when it comes to the add-ons, if this movement speed buff is enough for the Nemesis to actually be viable and good in games. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, all right? But yeah, that's going to do for me. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Definitely does help a lot. Follow me on Twitch if you guys want to see any DVD action live. I usually stream Dead by Daylight every single night. So come out. We'll have some fun. And I'll see you guys next one. All right. Later.